When you give an honor and glory to God for being the ever living, the never dying, the invisible and unseen, the all powerful, the all knowing. When you give an honor and glory to him, what does that mean? That means what? You don't question him. If, he, if, he's, the, if he's the all knowing, like, what are you doing? You got people trying to question God all the time, right? Why, Lord, right? Right? They usually question God when tragedy hit. Bam! <laughs> if God was a loving God, you hear that all the time. Why all this suffering? If I'm in the truth, let, let me forget. Let's forget to talk about the, the, uh, the people that's dead, okay? Let's talk about the people that's in the truth. If I'm in the truth, why am I not only getting blessed? Why did I get fired? Because people start questioning God. Why are my kids is rebellious? <laughs> if I'm training up a child in the way that they should go, like, why they just went? <laughs> they start to question things. You know? If I'm keeping the laws and keeping the Sabbath, Sabbaths and I'm doing this and I'm doing that, um, then why ain't everything going the way that it's supposed to be going? Why did my brother die or my mother die or why am I sick? Why am I afflicted? Why do I have an incurable disease? Why am I dealing with If I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, then why? But what you keep forgetting is, uh, what people be, <laughs> what people, I don't even think they consider, I can't even say they forget it is that it's supposed to be beyond your understanding. See how that don't make sense to you? See how, yeah, I was waiting for something deep, deep, deep. I was waiting for something deep. <laughs> you was waiting for an answer, you was waiting for the answer to the question. Why, yeah, why am I, why did I get fired? Yeah, why? Yeah, why am I starving? Hmm? Playing around, playing around with the wrong one. Trying to let me let me forewarn you tonight, okay? You don't you don't play around with him. Like, and, and and what made me really see that I need to teach this class is seeing the lack of understanding um, from the Sabbath as we going through things in the Sabbath. You, you you'll begin to understand. Prophets came to God and, and um, they just wanted to understand. They they knew not to question him. Well, some did. The one I'm thinking about in particular. But they still wanted to, they, they didn't understand. It was puzzling. It was a puzzling, it's still puzzling these people to this very day. Give me the book of Exodus chapter 33. What you're going to see is that um, what I'm going to go through is Moses. Moses was a prince in Egypt. In the house of Pharaoh, considered to be the grandson of Pharaoh. Watching the children of Israel suffer in captivity. Could it be for sins? <laughs> Possibly. But they didn't even uh, enter into the covenant with God yet. They became a nation in slavery. So they were born into the captivity. So Moses, and they was, they was, this was some hard bondage, hard bondage. Okay, don't, don't when we talk about the, the, the captivity of uh, the Egyptians, of the Israelites under the Egyptians, a lot of times you, you read over that, okay? The same way people forgot about slavery in America. They just forgot about that. And what I mean by forget about it, they know it was slavery, but they forget about the atrocities, the horrificness of the crimes that was committed, the suffering that the people actually went through. I mean, the, um, the amazing suffering. It was, it, was, it was a wonderful, wonderfully amazing. I mean, you would look at this and be like, how can any people go through that and still survive? Yeah, that's something that's not depicted in movies. It's not, <laughs> not taught in schools or educational systems or in, in the history of the home. So this is, this is one of the main reasons why the people don't forgot who their enemies are. 
Because only an enemy, only somebody that hate you. I may have a, 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 a natural born hatred can treat you less than human and sleep at night. <laughs> I mean, don't give, a, don't give a damn. Okay, wait. You, why do why you think what's going on with uh, people, our people, well, uh, the, the Israelites in the world, you know, our people ain't until they come into the truth. But what you think, why do you think that's still happening? Why do you think they, they shot down at 18 and 12 by a grown white man with a gun? Or let's just say the police, because uh, the, the black man that, that has a gun um, that has a badge, it has the white man's mentality. Okay. You would think that they would have, they would have came out, the 100 black officers would have came out and said, listen, there's a conspiracy. There's a blue wall of silence and there's a way that policing is done that we could clearly see is, the, is a discrimination. You don't, <laughs> you don't see that. But, why, but back to, why you think they could kill a 12-year-old boy? Like they did in uh, uh, Ohio. Or 18, you know, or, you know. Just kill your kids and shoot somebody right in their mother's house in their backyard and all that. And I, you know, because they don't give a damn. It's still that same master mentality. You, they don't give a damn about what? About your life, okay? That's why you got people yelling, Black Lives Matter. Well, we knew that, but yelling... It matters, ain't gonna make it matter to them. That's why they you still getting killed. Let me explain something to you. How many, how many, please don't be self-righteous. Please don't start lying, okay? Okay, please don't lie. How many people in here ever killed a bug, okay? See, see, see. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't got, if I said a roach, no hand would have came up. Nobody want, people want to act like they ain't got roaches. Do you mourn afterwards? Huh? <laughs> you be in the middle of a conversation. Yeah, because uh, yesterday I went. I was on a bus, and uh, I came back and uh, then <laughs> I had a chicken sandwich, brother. <laughs> you have no regard for the life of that insect. You could tell by the way you dealt with it. Okay? Some of you sneak up on it and stomp it out, man. Stomp that joint. And then do this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you take a rubber band and get a fly in there. That's an old school. And watch the fly bleed. You be like. <laughs> well, that's how minorities are being killed by the Gentiles. They snuffed their life out like it was nothing. Like it was the life of a roach. Where does it come from? Where does it come? It comes from the inhumane treatment of captivity and slavery that our people went through in this, in this same, very same land. So Moses, Moses was watching the Israelites under the Egyptians and they were suffering. And these Israelites, they knew about God. We're going to get to that. They knew about God. I'm going to go through the scriptures on that. They knew about God because Abraham was told by God that those children would be in a land that was not. So they knew about that prophecy. They knew it was a time that uh, the, the captivity was supposed to come to an end. But over hundreds of years, the Lord said that captivity, over hundreds of years, people start forgetting it's just, it's just, we in the same situation. We got Deuteronomy. Y'all should be come, coming into captivity with ships. Three days and a half, 350 years. What happened hundreds of years later? People walking around, ain't, ain't nobody looking for deliverance. <laughs> it's right there. Suffering still going on. So Moses, you know, got tired of it, took matters into his own hands, 
and decided, I'm going to kill one of these damn Egyptians. He got tired of seeing Israel getting beat. He got tired of seeing the injustice. And he, he took it matters into his own hands and he killed the Egyptian. And then what happened? The traitors among his people. Okay? See that? The one that loved Pharaoh. The one that did his brother wrong. Those are the ones that love the, the system that they're in. They go, and they look at you as you just a slave, so ain't nothing to smite you. And when Moses is trying to make peace, they come this traitor. You know, I'm going to turn you in. <laughs> Moses feared for his life and fled Egypt. He said, surely this thing is known. Meanwhile, the children of Israel is still in captivity, getting tore up by the Egyptians. Forty years went by. Moses started the family. He was out there and me and his children and grew up. Then a the time for the words of God to be fulfilled. And the Lord appeared to Moses. Now, just to make a long story short, um, now that Moses was dealing with God and he see that the Lord showed up, finally, he, he wanted to ask God, he wanted to understand why. I don't get it. Like, why you left them for hundreds of years um, just to be suffering like that? Just make me understand. Just let me understand why. That's where we're at. Let's go to Exodus chapter 33, verse 13. Read it. Now, therefore, I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight. Read on. Show me now thy way. That's what Moses is asking him. Show me your way. I want to understand the way you operate. I can't. I'm not getting this. So show me. Show me your way. Read on. That I may know thee. Read it again. That I may know thee. Read on. That I may find grace in thy sight. Read on. And consider that this nation is thy people. And consider that this nation is thy people. Look at what, you know, you, you mean to tell me you want me to go back and deliver them? But look how long. You just, I don't, I'm not questioning you. I just want to know, like, what's, going, what's the wisdom behind this? Right? Read on. And he said, My presence shall go with thee. Read on. And I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. Let's just go to verse, jump to verse 19 to get God's response. Verse 19. Read it. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. Read on. And I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee. Okay, so this is how the Lord answered him. I'm going to make all my goodness come before thee, and I'm going to proclaim the name of the Lord to you. Read on. And will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. Read on. And will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. His answer to Moses was, I do what I want. Hmm. Whoever I want to be gracious to, I'm going to be gracious to. And whoever I want to show mercy to, I'm going to show mercy to. In other words, what the Lord is, is, not in other words, in those exact words, what the Lord is saying is, you don't get to ask me why. Because you're my creation and I'm the creator. Is that, is that order? Is that order? David asked the same question. Everybody want to know God. They just want to get that wisdom behind it. That wisdom was for a time. He wasn't ready to deal with that right now. He said, listen, just go get Israel out of captivity. Why are you making himself so long? Lord? Listen, what I said, go get him out of captivity. Look at what David said in the book of Psalms, chapter 25. Psalms, chapter 25, verse 1. Read that for me, please. Unto thee, O Lord. Do I lift up my soul? Read on. Oh my God, I trust in thee. Read on. Let me not be ashamed. Read on. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Read on. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed, which transgress without cause. It was transgress without cause that just break God's laws. And there's no reason to break the law. Okay. The scripture says the Lord gives nobody a license to sin. 
Okay? You got people that, you know, they just got the demons in them. Like I said, everybody's not chosen. Everybody understand that? Right. There's certain, like, it's, it's certain things I know, and I'll sit there and I'll play around with what I know, and I'll say certain things to certain people. And then they know I know, and then all of a sudden they'll disappear. Okay, they, they, they won't come back around no more. Because they know they've revealed. That's showing you that Satan's goal is to cause as much confusion up in here as possible. As long as he can hide, they'll keep coming around like they want to you. But then when you start to, when, when something is said, he's like, oh damn, he, he know. All of a sudden, 